What's up, everybody? Crash here. Welcome back to Crash Against the Spread, where we talk about sports from a betting perspective. It's Tuesday, July 16th, and there are four WNBA games to talk about. Uh, if you do like content, please like the video, subscribe to the channel. Uh, helps out more than you think. Um, we didn't do a video uh, the other day. Uh, yesterday, there was no games. Um, so I actually did a uh, kind of how-to video, uh, which is up on the page now. Uh, but uh, today, um, we're just going to go into the games. The first one uh, starts at 11.30 um, in 20 minutes from the time I'm recording. So uh, I'm on the Mercury. It uh, doesn't matter why. Uh, you'll probably be watching this after the game is over. Uh, so I'm going to start with the second game, uh, which is the Seattle Storm and the L.A. Sparks. Uh, but first, I want to go over where I'm at this season um, and why I'm still at the WNBA. Uh, I'm 43 and 29 uh, overall this season in the WNBA, up 10 units, uh, hit that 60% right now. So that's why uh, baseball doesn't treat me like that. So. I'm gonna stick with the uh, stick with what I'm seeing. Well, so um, the first game up though is uh, the uh, Seattle Storm and the LA Sparks. Uh, Storm are uh, on the road actually to a Sparks team who's nine point underdogs at home. Uh, I do see an eight and a half. Uh, I'm on Seattle here. Um, Los Angeles is missing a couple pieces, uh, most notably at center. Uh, with Brink out, and I'm not sure how to pronounce her name. Lee Yaru. Um, she's out because of the Olympics. Uh, they have no uh, no big presence down low. So I expect for a lot of baskets uh, to become uh, easy down the stretch once uh, Seattle figures that out. And uh, De'Erica Hamby can't do everything for the Sparks. So um, I would lean on the Storm. Um, the number's at nine. I don't like that it's that high, but uh, if it goes down the next couple hours or so, I might jump on it then. Uh, but I'm on a Storm against the Sparks. Uh, next game up is the Sun at the, <clears throat> at the New York Liberty. Uh, New York Liberty just coming off a couple – Good wins against the uh, Sky. Uh, they played twice in a row on the 11th and the 13th. Uh, they beat them both times, uh, 91-76 and 8167. Um, the game before that, they beat the Sun team 71-68 to uh, by three. Uh, last couple games for the Sun, uh, they're coming out coming off a blow off a blowout victory against the uh, the uh, Phoenix Mercury, but only able to play six players in that game. And by the fourth quarter, they were just walking away with it. So, uh, game before that, they played the uh, played the Liberty, like I said. And uh, three games before that, they won against the Dream. They won against the Lynx, and they beat the Mercury as well. So, um, this Liberty team has been a thorn in the side of the Sun all season, and they were six and a half point favorites. Uh, I might have bet them at six, but I don't know if I'm going to bet them at three. Um, I think coming off that uh, blowout win and the Liberty <clears throat> beating the same team twice in a row, which takes a little more effort than uh, than you think. I think the New York Liberty might get them again. Um, there is the three-time or two-time revenge angle, um, but they beat them twice in Connecticut. And uh, Connecticut is a better home team than an away team. Uh, they're eight and two away, so they're not terrible. Uh, they're good all around. They're eighteen and five on the season. New York is twenty and four. Uh, this game, I'm not so sure about. I would probably lean on the Liberty, but it's not my favorite game. It's not where I have uh, most of my money on. I might bet it live. Um, so let's go ahead and go to the next one. And the last one is the Chicago Sky versus the Vegas. Vegas is at home, 12 and a half point favorites. There's a 13 out there as well. Down from 15 uh, yesterday. So uh, money's coming in on Chicago. Uh, these teams have uh, played once this season. 
uh, 95-83 back in June. Both teams are fairly healthy. Um, Elizabeth Williams out for Chicago. I don't see anybody out for Vegas right now. Um, I would lean on Chicago at this big number. They're just coming off two losses against the uh, Liberty. And um, it's a tough stretch there. Uh, two games against the Liberty and then playing the Aces. Uh, you're going to be double-digit underdogs in all of those games. But um, I think Chicago might be able to uh, at least cover the spread here. Um, I don't want to force Vegas to have to win by 14, but, you know, I hope uh, hope those points in my pocket are, are good for Chicago. So um, putting my putting my faith in uh, Angel Reese and the girls, and I'm going to go with Sky plus 13 for the last game. So my picks for today are going to be Seattle uh, minus the nine, New York minus the three, and Chicago plus the 13. So uh, lock those in with this money. We'll be back tomorrow to talk to more uh, WNBA.